Success is predictable, so you can literally plan success. I am successful today in my life, globally impacting millions of people, because I made a decision as a teenager as to what I want to be and do. And it's the same reason why people fail. Success is predictable, and success is, is predictable because life is designed for your success. But failure is also predictable because failure is the same result as success. Let me explain what I mean. God designed everything he created to be successful. You will never see a bird who cannot fly naturally. You'll never see a fish who cannot swim naturally. Every seed, if you put it in the ground and give it water, you don't need to pray. It is designed to bring forth a tree. Everything God created has built into it its own success. And if the plant is here today and gone tomorrow, how much more important are you to God? The average human being does not know why they're on planet Earth. They wake up every morning, go into a job they hate, working with people they don't like, getting paid less than they're worth, and dying too young from frustration because they don't know why they exist. Without a purpose, life has no meaning. It has no sense of destiny, no sense of precision. The average human on Earth has no idea about their ability. 90% of the human population will die and never achieve more than 10% of their true ability. And this is the frustration of all humans. Every human wants to be successful. I have never met any human who said, I plan to fail tomorrow. No human wants to fail. Am I right? Everybody wants to succeed. But I have some good news for you. Write this down. Success is predictable. What is my destination? Everyone wants to know, what is my future? Where am I going in the next 20 years, 40 years? What will I be when I am 75 or 82? What is my destiny? The greatest tragedy in life is life without a purpose. Nothing is worse than being alive and not knowing why. Breathing oxygen and eating food and getting energy and don't know why you have it. To live for 80 years and still didn't know why you were here. That's a tragedy. Your success is important to God. God needs you to succeed. When I discovered this, I became very bold. I put pressure on God. I discovered this when I was 17 years old. I discovered that God needed me to succeed. Because success is built in to creation by every manufacturer. Success is important to every manufacturer who makes a product. So the success of the product is necessary to protect the reputation of the company. So the worst thing that can happen to a manufacturer is when his product fails. His entire reputation and company can be destroyed. So success is necessary for the manufacturer. You are a product, and the first thing the manufacturer placed on you is his image. The manufacturer says, let us make a product in our image. Oh, come on, if you got the image, lift your hands and shout hallelujah. The first thing he put on you is the most important thing to him, his image. You are just like the manufacturer. That means your failure is bad for God. I have come with good news. You cannot fail anymore. God has to guarantee your success not to protect you. God has to make sure that the vision he gives you succeeds because his reputation is on the line. 
So when you read the Bible, all through the Bible, God would say these to his people. He would say, even though you are stiff-necked, you complain. He said, I will prosper you, and I will restore you, and I will heal you, and I will redeem you. Listen, for my name, come on, clap them hands and scream hallelujah. No matter where you are right now in your life, I promise you, I guarantee you that you are coming out of your situation. Not for your name's sake, but for his name's sake. Clap your hands and thank God he's the manufacturer. You cannot fail in your business. This is why if he told you to go to university, don't worry about tuition. If he told you to build a business, you have the ability. If he told you to build a church, you have the ability. If he told you to go into politics, you have the ability. If he told you to be a lawyer, you have the ability. If he told you to be a teacher, you have the ability. If he told you to build a school, you have the ability. Whatever he told you, he will do it for his name. Somebody scream, hallelujah. Oh, Lord. That's why it's important to announce what God told you. When you make it public, you put pressure on it. Oh, come on, young man. You got to talk about your vision. You got to talk about your dream and tell everybody, God told me this. God told me this. God told me this. And he has to protect his reputation. Clap your hands and scream hallelujah. So stop being afraid to believe your dream. This ain't your dream. It's his dream. Your success is good for God. So he has to make sure you succeed. That's why I am so bold. You know, when you discover who you are, you make announcements you can't pay for. Stop waiting for money before you make announcements. When he tells you, tell everybody. When you tell him, it puts pressure on him. That's why I have no doubt in the next 10 years, everything you told your friends that they laughed at will come to pass. So the secret to your success is built in. God created birds to fly. So if birds don't fly, his name is in trouble. God created fish to swim. So if fish can't swim, his reputation is in trouble. God created seeds to bring forth trees. So if a seed doesn't bring forth a tree, God's reputation is in trouble. So God is very wise. He built into everything laws to guarantee its success. The car that you bought was made by a manufacturer. The manufacturer built into the car the laws for function. You don't need to pray about what to put in your gasoline tank. It's a law. The manufacturer says, you shall use unleaded gasoline only. He didn't ask your permission. He built the law into the car. And when it comes to you, it comes with the laws built in. Now, if you decide you like orange juice, and you're going to put orange juice in your car because you like orange juice, then the car malfunctions. You submit to the laws of the manufacturer, and it guarantees success. For example, the manufacturer says when you buy an iron, it says, do not operate in the water. They don't tell you why. God designed the fish to be in water. That's a law. 
fish will never leave water. They are smarter than humans. Birds were designed to fly in the air. They will never try to become fish. If you put a seed on the ground on a tiled floor in the lobby and leave it there for 50 years, it will remain a seed. Why? You disobeyed the law of the seed. It needs soil and moisture. Success, write this down, is a result of decisions. Whatever you are right now, you decided to become. Don't you blame anyone for your predicament right now. Success is a result of decisions. Failure in life is a result of decisions. Whatever you decide determines your destiny. In other words, everyone becomes what they decide to be. If you don't know where you're going, you'll do anything with your life. Purpose brings discipline. A true friend is one who can help you get to your destiny. I'm going to say it again. A true friend is anyone who will help you get to your destiny. So if anyone wants you to do anything that stops you from your destiny, that's not a friend, that's an enemy. Decisions determine success. God wants you to succeed. He gave you birth to succeed. He wants you to succeed more than you want to succeed for his namesake. And God is faithful to the vision he put in your life. He is faithful to it because he needs you to succeed for his reputation. Your future is God's past. God's plan for your life is already finished. God never begins until he's finished. In Jeremiah 29, verse 11, God says, I know the plans I have for you already. Plans to what? Prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. I know your plans already. God already finished you before he started you. In the book of Isaiah, when I read this, it changed my life. God says, Remember this. Put it in your mind and don't forget it. Now, three of those sentences mean the same thing. Whenever God says something three times, it's the most important thing. It's the same word as verily. He says, remember this. Fix it in your mind. Do not forget it. Same words. What is so important? God says, remember this. I am God, and there's none like me. He said, now, don't forget that. I am God, and there's none like me. Second, I am God, and I always said the end before the beginning. He says, I am God. There's none like me. And I always said the end before the beginning. Next verse. And I make known from ancient times what is yet to come. I say my purpose will stand. There's no God like me. For I said the end before the beginning. That means I finish before I start. I complete before I commence anything. Oh, stay with me. I'm getting ready to shout all by myself. God says, you see, whenever you see me start something, that is evidence that it's finished. God would not allow you to have been conceived in your mother's womb unless there was something already finished that you were born to start. That means you are not a mistake. You are a destined baby already finished. So your success is already finished. Then God says, I set your end before I begin you. And then at the beginning he says, I make known at the beginning your end. That's why, as a child, you were dreaming all the time. 
that was your destiny screaming at you. This is why you got big dreams. Those dreams are real. Don't ever judge your destiny by the location of your birth. Stop feeling bad about yourself. Stand up straight. Spray your shoulders. Go to work tomorrow walking like you are a winner. Dress like a winner. Talk like a winner. And tell everybody, I am here because I am.